Here's your snap. Thanks. Night school tonight. Uh, I, uh, I think I'll up and give, us a, give it a miss tonight. We're only into October. You've not missed the class yet. You're not missed tonight. You'll be all right if I go. Why shouldn't I be? Well, it's not so far off now, the nose. It's three weeks at the least. It's not as if we were still at Galwick. Have me mum and Ethel just down at Raw. You to go. But you want your under manager's certificate. Aye, I want it. You're not finding the work too much? No. Well, don't make me an excuse then. I'm not. Yes, you are. I've enough on driving Sam without driving you as well. You're never out of the house except when you're at work. Why don't you go to the club more with lads? I'm not a big club goer. I, I never was. Now, you're only interested in life then. Aye. Well, it's time you found another. No, it's. It's not just that. Being back at skeleton working again, is that it? Part of it. I went to Cuddy as a shop fire. I was just one of the lads when I was at Skeleton before. I'm on the other side now, I'm deputy. They kid you, you mean? Ah, they do that. Only it's half kidding and it's half meant. It's not them, though, it's me. It's, it's how I feel. If it worries you like that, why didn't you stay at Cuddy? I wasn't asked. I was told that I were to go. You never told me that. I thought you came back to Skeleton to save the fares. Why didn't you tell me? There's not many rumours about these days, aren't there? Well, I don't know. I never hear any. Rumours about what? This dirt dispute's dragging on. They had a meeting about it last night. Your dad were there. Management's offered 5%. 5%? More wages? That'll be the day. No, 5% dirt allowed in tubs instead of 7. Same as a cutting wage, is that? What do men say? I've heard one or two comments. They weren't in union language, though. They'll not accept 5%, not while your dad's on committee. He lost his job to win that seven. And I suppose he's ready to lose it again. No, he's paid by the men now. They can't do that to him this time. Did our George come back to Skeleton of his own free will? No. Well, he didn't like it at Cuddy, though, did he? No, he was glad to get back. And if they come out? Oh, it'll not be for long. There were no door paid last time. And you? What let it mean to you? Well, I'm a deputy now. I'm one of them, aren't I? And that's what's nagging you? Part of it, like I said. But it's what you are in yourself that counts, isn't it? What's your name, Fred? Albert. Can I send him off? Get old, then. That's right. All the gently. Throw her up. He's off. Aye. Will he go far? Not so far. Not unless he's taken. Then he'll come right back here. From anywhere? Aye. Anywhere. From Canada? Anywhere. How does he find his way back? What the call instinct? Sam gone. All right. Time you were off and all. Did he take his boot with him? The one I gave him to do some exercises with. Oh, it's with. there, Aunt Dresser. What about pigeons then? What'll I tell him? He can have a few pigeons. He can keep them in shed on your dad's allotment. <laughs> he soon got fed up with that mouse. <laughs> Well, there's always pigeon pie. I'll be off then, if I'm to call at Norman's. Aye. Frank? Alan? He's not done it. The worker said to Well, he was sat there doing it last night. Well, he was doing something. I thought, well, he told me that's what it was when I asked him. These. Pigeons. He can draw, can't he? Ah, he can draw pigeons that will fly off the paper, but won't get him into King's School, Dora. How much longer is there? He's got a year. I put him in bottom three in the class right now. And they're the saddest lot I've ever had. I'm sorry, love, there's no point in pretending things are different, is there? He's got to pass that entrance, Frank. If he doesn't, it means he's got to work it down at Pitt. Yeah, we've seen bright enough before, before we came back. The first time or this time, you mean? 
before his dad went off. Well, I'll do what I can. You can take horse to water, but you can't make it drink. He's a lad, not a horse. He could have developed in his own time if the system was different. What system? The educational system, love. It's designed to produce factory fodder, not educated human beings that take pleasure in using the mines. Too many people using the mines means not enough hands on the shovels, according to their way of thinking. By the time he's 11 years old, he's supposed to know where his future lies, even if he can't vote for it till he's 21. And if he goes down pit, will it be forever? Some get out, not many. Some don't want to, like our George. They keep each other warm. The best thing you can say about it, that the company's good. I'm just off round to Ethel's. There's more than Bobby's wanting attention in this world than those. There's poor old buggers that have served the time, like me. You've got all you want, haven't you? Your snap's ready. I'm up in the arm. Go on with it. Go and make daft noises at the grand old. Went all right last night, did it? They made us an offer, and we bought it to turn it down. Aye. Well, we shall see then, shall we? Oh, aye. We shall see, all right. You'll be gone before I get back. At the rate that's going, I shall be gone before that goes. Off with thee. Well, I'll be damned. I was only just thinking about thee just now, putting my jacket on. It must have come from your shop. Nay, hey, Jack, surely not. Last for a generation, you said. Hey, look at these bloody elbows. Hmm? Ah, but you've, uh, you've been to pit in it. I'd have said normal use if I said out at all. Well, pit's normal use to me, lad. These days it is. Ah, but you, you've, you've had it a fair while, haven't you, Rod? Hey, I've not had it above ten years. Hey, Jack, stop pulling my leg. I thought we'd seen the last of thee. Ah, well, uh, I've been a bit tied up the nose. And then, of course, you'd heard the news, even if you've not been round since it come on us. What would that be, Jack? Would she not let you come and see your grandson, then, your missus, on account of his mother's bearing a bastard? That's our way of putting it, Jack. I'm short on words, Toby. I use them or no? How is he, Tut lad? Why don't you call on our door and see? She's living up the road now. Oh, I, I will, I will, one of these days. I bet she doesn't put one jot of blame on your Harry, does she, that missus of yours? A bit you set foot in the house, has she? She'd not be happy. She knew I was here, no. Why? We were schoolmaster in the house. We're both in work. We've got nobody on the door. We're respectable, aren't we, Toby? You don't have to tack it out on me, Jack. She thinks we dragged him down, doesn't she? She thinks our door has shown her true colours, and that's what she was like all the time. Is that how she thinks? Is that what she's saying? Uh, uh, she does. You know better, though, don't you? Aye, I, I do. I'd not be here if I didn't. Why are you here, Toby? Well, you saw it come from him. From your Harry? Aye, well, it's uh, no but a bit of a parcel. But, lad. I see. So we know where he is. Nay, yeah, I can't tell. Yes. Well, hasn't, he, hasn't he sent an address? Hey, Jack, I've not opened it. You've not opened it? It's not addressed to me. It's addressed to young Sam. Aye. Aye, I see. If, if you go and fetch him, he could open it. And we'd soon see. Your Harry's dead to him. But it's his father, Jack. He's got others to father him now. But it is his flesh and blood. It's... He's that. You can't take that away from him. His name's never mentioned. But it's in his mind. It's there for life. If the lad gets this, it will be. You can't hold it from him, Jack. Can't I? He's dead to me, too, the nose. He's my flesh and blood, and I've cut him off. Nobody could tell me to do that. And suppose your missus says otherwise? You don't have to rub it in. I know I'm a weak vessel, but it's not been easy taking your daughter's part, the nose. It's for her sake I wanted that address. For divorce, I promised her that much. I'll think about it. There's no good trying to fetch him now. He'll be on his road to school. Don't you want her to divorce our Harry? I want him out of our lives, Toby. That's what I want. Out of us lives for good. Out of sight isn't all us. Out of mind, Jack. Not all us. All he is in our daughter's mind is a bad memory. She's settled where she is. 
I weren't just thinking of your daughter. Eh? Fred, it's hanging over. Look at her neck. She's all right. Shut up and get off to work. I never brought your neck feeding you. Not that I can remember. He must have cracked his head a few times, though. He didn't like having his nappy changed either. And he were a mucky little devil and all. He's allergic to soap and water now. Still here, the nose. I've got ears. I like dustbin lids. You'll um, be able to answer a question then, won't you? Since you're still here. What? yours. What is it? It looks like half a crown to me. What do you make it out to be? Half a crown, aye. What about it? Yours, is it? Mine? Found on the bedroom floor. Could have dropped out of your pocket. Ah, no, but he couldn't, though, could he? I'm, I'm not a bloody millionaire, am I? I'd have noticed. I'd have asked, wouldn't I? I'd have said, has anybody found half a crown, wouldn't I? You don't have to talk me out of it, George. I'm quite willing to believe it's mine. I shall have to be more careful in future, shan't I? Of course, it could have been there for some time. I mean, I, I could have lost it some time back. I had the carpet up last week. That's it, then, isn't it? You're off to work? Aye. I'm off to work now, down pit. I shall see the later, eh? And if they doesn't like the way they treats me, open their mouth and bawl. Same as your dad does. I shall see the end, of course. It is, you know, that half crown. It is. Why didn't he say so? Oh, he'd have liked to, only he dared. He bought himself some boots Saturday. Left him with a bob for the week, he said. He could hardly lay claim to that, that half crown after telling me that now, could he? Ah, and it's a bit his save that he's forgotten. Forgotten? When he goes through his trouser turnips twice a week, case an apennies dropped in. He's saved before, though, to get that cotton pram. Mm. Still a dark mystery. <sighs> I don't know how he managed that. Manage it, he did, though. Give him credit. Ah. Uh, I do give him credit. I wish somebody else would give him credit and put him back on face so we could get a bit put by. Oh, so long as you manage. I will manage all right as long as we've got things straight. If I find any more of them, he's in trouble. It were a miracle he got that job before this one were born. Ah, that was no miracle, Polly. Do you think I'd have let her happen if he hadn't got a job? Not me. Some happen. Not me. Up to mischief. We're off for school. I've been letting pigeons loose. Oh, aye. Alan says I can have some. Against hard times, eh? They make a damn good pie, do pigeons, you know. Half a crown to me. What do you make it out to be? <coughs> Joseph, stinking chamber pot. Sally Pullock's Baldwin. Uh, 
Yeah, it's grand to be back on face again. Are we right? Just about. Fasten a smotty to that tub. Aye, pony one's been. You give him that back at us, shove us a couple of tubs in out of turn. Aye, it would tell me as to. Ah, we're right enough. Come on out then, I'll take it to Yeah, I'm not but there. I'll finish it. Get them chops and props ready, eh? Aye. George! George! I'll buy what bread I need these days, being on my own. Aye, well, it's one less flaming job. Have you a bait yet? Tomorrow. Two working men at house. It keeps you going. Aye. We've been up to the cemetery lately. I were up to my mum's grave last week. Oh, I wish you'd told me I'd have come with you. I could have done with a change, being on my own. Is there any more room in your mum and dad's? There's only them in there. If you're looking for somewhere to go, you can sleep with me dad. He's on his own by special request. My mum's. She's in with me gran and granddad. You'll be very welcome. You like company, did me dad. And it's paid for. I bet there's no flowers on it. Kind of company he kept. Hey, there was last Easter, though. And none of us lot put them there because they asked. Where did they come from, then? I can think of no one in the world that put flowers on my dad's grave. It were tended no. Happens they thought he was somebody else. Well, his name's there, clear enough. Thomas Rawson. 1880 to 1929. Till the coming of that glorious day. My mum chose that. She meant day of judgment. <laughs> somebody must have cared so much for him, any road. We shouldn't speak ill of the dead. Why shouldn't we, if they deserve it? They were born innocent. All the more shame on them, then. We shall all be called to account. And some shall have more to account for than others. I know. Me among them, I dare say. It's me Uncle George in. He's not back for hours yet. He's on mornings. It's me granddad in. He's at pit, love, the same. Mum says, can I have shed on allotment for pigeons? Well, I don't see why not. Nobody ever uses it. I'll clean it out. Hey, if you find any sovereigns that belong to me. Can I have a brush? Why well, hasn't your mum got a brush? She's gone to the doctor's. Oh, well, there's uh, one it call of. Hey, you mind you bring it back? Pigeons. Ah, oh, well. You'll learn what comes out of eggs apart from some up at frying pan in your road. She's got three weeks to go yet. How's your master taking it? He's accommodated himself to it. It's a peculiar thing, isn't it? What? Love. How is it? Bloody awful. Just half a dollar. And way down be debt. And way down be cold. There's just no bloody end to it, is there? There's a stone jammed across here. I'm afraid of it slipping. I'm off to try and prop it, right? Aye. I've got to get out of here in one piece. She doesn't know I'm on face. Sandy Carter's wife in Damblin's room. She's a mate of Ethel's. God, I hope I'm not broken out. Oh. Christ. What's up? I saw that. I've got it. It slipped. Go and fetch somebody. I can't. What do you mean, you bloody can't? It's jammed up against this wedge. If I move my body, I'm afraid of it slipping. I've been taken advantage of, you know that? Aye. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. Who? Oh. Them as are taking advantage of this. Some folk are like that, aren't they? Aye, bloody are. Who is it then? It's thee, that's who it is. Me? Take advantage of thee? I brought thee here once as a favour. Now you're here every other day since you come back on top, you're a bloody fixture. Well, I asked Charlie. He said I'd be right. I don't like coming now, Jack. They wouldn't want to spoil me a bit of pleasure, would they? Pleasure? My God, we're easily pleased, aren't we? Ten minutes by hot stove for a stolen broom, we think we've entered the kingdom. Take it away and it's everlasting damnation. Go and ask Tuppy in there for his twisted tea if he wants a brew. Oh, 
Want to root? Aye. There's another coming knocking on early gates. Barrett's coming. Find yourself a good spot and the rest of the bloody world moves in. Yeah? All right. First of all. Aye. Well, it's a grand little spot you've got here. Aye. <laughs> Lucky to find you. Aye. We're brewed. There's no left. <laughs> here, uh, this was shoved under my door last night. It's got my name on it. Oh, you've <laughs> opened it? Aye. It's got my name on it. Ah, well, I thought it was for me. Yeah. <coughs> it's got my name on it. Ah, well, it's addressed to thee, aye, but uh, it's union business. Oh, well, <coughs> I'll be getting back then. I'm sorry we're through. <coughs> <coughs> That's a bad cuff has got thee here. Uh, <coughs> now, she present herself for compensation. What, the colliery doctor we've got? I'm representing enough for others to know what my chances are. The fumes from this store will not help. Let's get outside. Uh, if you've read it, of course. You must have since you've opened it. Oh, I've read it, I. Who's it from, do you reckon? We had one before. I did. For a long time ago. We reckoned it was from a sympathiser that worked in pit offices that overheard someone. Who lives your end that works in pit offices? Most of them do. That's why it went under your door, I suppose. Why don't you just come and speak straight out? He's got more to lose than they happen. Uh, still, it's only what we've always feared. Are you going to close, Skeleton? Dude, let's get out of here. Aye, it could be a management game. They like playing games, the nose. If they wanted to soften us up, they'd just come straight out and say we're going to close. Not wait for us to act on a rumour. Would they? There's two other pits under Machen, besides Skeleton. Suppose they, two of them, come out in sympathy. As they would. Happen. Happen not. Depends whose side they were on, doesn't it? There's three sides, the nose. There's bosses, there's us, and the other two pits. There's one side they'd definitely not be on, and that's the bosses. After that, it's a straight choice. I don't agree. Uh, in theory, there's them and there's us. I'm talking about what can happen. Look, he wouldn't close down Cuddy and Martin as well. Wouldn't he? Well, it wouldn't pay him. Wouldn't it? Well, would it? I ask thee. Now, there's asking me. What it boils down to is that we don't know. They make their move, we make ours. We're one behind all the time. We always have been. We just don't know enough. He's been devil us for years. I'll call a meeting. What for? Well, to bring that letter up. And bring things to the boys. Suppose that's what they want. Well, we can't just sit on it. Well, what's it say that's new, that we've not feared? You said yourself. But, but it's been sent to us. It's addressed to me, isn't it? And I've not shown it to you, have I? So how does I know what it says? <coughs> How's that? How's that? Let me try. <coughs> All right, gosh. Are you clear? Hold it. Where are they going? Come on out, that bugger. All right. I'm not paying for no freaking lamp. I keep my. Still. Oh, give over. Turn this in round and shut up. I'm trying to look at your back. Just my bloody look. I'd a ten to one bet with myself they'd move you to this district. Look at there he was. I was just dropping off. I'm not going to Dumbledore and Sloop. There, up. I'm cold picking. Mind to puts it in tub then. What's it like? What's it feel like? Right enough. The one's looking at proper choose who does it. They'll have to wait till we finish shift. Yeah, they can miss half a shift, George. We're back like that. I can't. I'm finishing shift. I'm no option. Ah, Joe, that's a cleaning. I was hungry. Did your mum say what time she'd be back? No, it's Cuddy she's gone to. Have you still got room or are you full to busting? I'm full to busting. One more bit of cake. Aye. Have I 
going to Bree. I'm going to have Litlands. You're going to what? Fetch told me how to go on. He's going to help me get started. I see. They're like eggs, pigeons, you know. Cock struts about, hen chuffs her feathers and flutters a bit. And they go on like. Fetch says they're like folks, more or less. And they're like an egg. He knows a lot about it, Fred. He knows everything, does Fred. I suppose you know a fair bit too by now, then. Aye, a fair bit. And who's getting you these pigeons? Alan. Does he strut about? Eh? Well, like you said, cock struts about, an hen chuffs her feathers and flutters a bit. You mean he's a cock and I'm an hen? Well, sort of. And she'll be having a little pigeon soon, won't she? Eh? Well, a, a baby, you know. Oh, aye, in three weeks' time. You know all about it, don't you? Aye. Have you cleared that shed out yet? No, I'm helping Fred with this. I'll go now. Can I have a candle? It'll be dark before long. We don't want place burned down, you know. I promise to be careful. Take one out at the scullery, then. Toby. Polly. Come in. Is he back? Jack? He's still at pit. Oh. Well, I was coming back this way, so I thought I'd see if they were addressing that packet I gave him from Harry. A parcel from Harry? Aye. Only couldn't open it, because it was it were addressed to young Sam. We could tell from Stamp, you see. We thought he might give him an address. Did Harry not write to you? No, no, he didn't. Well, Sam's not said. I've, uh, I've not told Margaret out about it, so if you happen to meet her, don't... I'm not likely to, am I? No, no, I suppose not. Eh? It's all a mess, isn't it, Toby? Oh, it is that. Don't think too badly about our Dora. I don't have a fair bit to answer for me, Sen. How is she? She could do with a divorce with that child coming. Ah, oh, well, I promised I'd do what I could. It's because of that I were hoping for an address. At least we know he's alive. I were beginning to wonder, Polly. You thought a lot of him, didn't you? I'm not a strong-minded chap like your Jack. I can't close my mind to what's been, not altogether. He was just like a, a mate, our Harry, up to him starting to go wrong. I couldn't say it to Jack, but I tried to keep an open mind. Whose fault do you reckon it was? She were a bit of a spoilt lass, you know. It's different with your lass, though. I let his mother ruin him. Sweet what he says, your Jack. Thinks now to me, does Jack, but when you're trying to get a bit of peace in the house. Aye. Jack wants to turn his back on a lot of us, I know. But I'd be glad if I could see young Sam just once in a while. I'll see what I can do. Does he not mention his father, lad? No, though what goes on in his head. Happen we'd do a bit better if we knew such things. Happen we'd worry too much. Aye. Well, let's hope so. How will he feel, I wonder? Hearing from his dad again. He's taken a lot in his stride lately. Oh, he's coping with it. I'm sure he'd have said something if he'd have had it. The Alton Jack's keeping it to, to Fedora to give him. I wish Harry had written to Dora. Aye. You live with somebody for years. You bring life into the world between you. And when this happens, You'd think the least we could do is try and make it easy for each other. The what and shame came into it, too. Ah. That and that's what were in his mind, eh? Them tools out of sight. Hi. Aye. How is it? We'd been. Want us to have a look at the back? Hey there. Got to breathe this on now. How long has they been back on face? And they didn't know that. 
I thought they were still on market. So does Ethel. I come straight on face from Cuddy. But I said not. She thinks I'm still on a day wage. Well, I shall say not. Never fear. I've not been straight with her. I couldn't afford to be. I'm in debt. Debt? For the cost of a cotton pram. Less what I paid off like. I got him on tick. I've been using extra brass to get it down. It's nearly paid for now, but... Oh, she thinks I got him on my spends. That's why I couldn't afford to miss out today. If we have a bloody strike, I'm done for. I should tell her if I were thee. She'll not take it amiss, thou knows. That's not boozed it away. Yeah, she'd flay me for not being straight with her. Nay. Yeah. She bloody would, thou knows. It was the side of that drawer that did it for me. Like a sodding coffin. Like having him dead before he were born. It's a she, George. Eh? Thy bairn, it's a lass. I know he's a lass. The same point applies. <laughs> Are we read then? Ah, come on. Else I should be calling him Mary if I'll stop here much longer. <laughs> Could he mark it? You shouldn't have bothered. Hey, pass me purse and I'll pay you. You not. Take it and shut up. It's not been long we've been able to afford to be generous with one another. Nay, there were more sharing in them times than I can remember him better. How long have you been wearing glasses? Oh, these are your dad's new ones. He's got a new top set and all. Do you need glasses? Well, I'm a bit long in sight. You do, don't you? Well, we can't manage them as well. Not just yet. Don't say out to your dad. Where's Sam? Down at the allotment and clearing out the shed. He's got a candle. For his pigeons. Aye, for his pigeons. You didn't tell me you were going to the doctor. Didn't I? What made you go? Well, nothing. I just thought I'd put my mind at rest, that's all. Nothing wrong? Oh, you're not as tough as your generation when it comes to having babies, you know. You wouldn't tell me if there was something wrong. You're not bad at keeping things to yourself either, are you? You weren't going to tell me, were you? Tell you what? He told me he'd been here. I went into the shop and saw him and he just got back from here. He told you about the parcel then for Sam that Harry sent? Why didn't Dad give it to him? Well, Sam went off to school before Toby came and your Dad went off to work. Well, where'd he put it then? He'll tell us when he gets back. Oh, will he? I wonder. Why well, shouldn't he? Oh, well, you tell me how his mind works. I don't know. Well, you should. It's you he does it for. He spends half his life bending this way and that to meet your approval, or to do what he thinks is best for you. Getting something off your chest, man. Do I ask him to do these things? Do I not beg him to let me live my own life in peace? He'll be there to serve you as long as you live, whether you like it or not. If you chuck it in his face, he'll still be there. And the same with the lad, because he's yours. It's like an affliction with him. What am I to do, man? What you should happen to have done in the first place. Get away from here. Talk it over with Alan. When you've had the bairn and you're back on your feet, get away from here. Says one or two went down to Kent where they say there's work, but they don't know for sure. It's a long way to go on a chance. I thought there'd never be work again. Eighteen months back, short of a miracle. Then George got back. Alan does what the manager says now. He's a deputy, not the union. He won't have to come out. Come out? Well, this dispute over dirt allowance. You've heard, haven't you? I've not heard the coming out. Oh, they haven't said that they are, but it's all as on cards when there's a dispute, isn't it? Jack Barraclough's back on union. He got a new top set last month, did Jack? There'll not be a strike until he gets his bottom ones in. <laughs> Morning shift is back. Is his meal ready? It will be, by the time he's washed himself. Yeah. I'll keep mm. making to get up when I hear him. I forget I've no one to cook for. I'm back. He's back. I'll get me a muck off. It is your daddy. We thought it was your daddy, didn't we? Shall I scrub your back? Yeah. I mean, uh, 
That's what manage. I'm shooting doer. I'm dropping catch. So beautiful and yet so shy. <laughs> Of a craft candle. I know. Can't do much in this light. I'm clearing out for pigeons. Alan's getting you some. I'll get me own. Oh. Well, why would you want to do that? Get me own pigeons. Well, you didn't say that this morning, did you? Or did you? No. Well, why not then? What's Alan done to you since this morning? Nothing. But you don't want him to get your pigeons? No. Yeah. What about your granddad then? Should he get your pigeons? Get me own pigeons. Well, isn't there anyone you'd like to get your pigeons? What about your Uncle George? He couldn't. He's skint all the time. He's told me. I'd let me granddad tell me. Don't you like living in skeleton then? No. I want to live with my granddad told me. What if we went somewhere else, long way away? You don't want me dad to come back, do you? And me Uncle Alan doesn't, and me granddad doesn't. It's not just like that, Sam. If I go away now, I'll not be here when he comes back. He went on his own. He went because he wanted to. Nobody sent him away. He went to make a fortune. No, he didn't. Not just that. And what did he go for, then? Mm. Lots of reasons that you'll understand best when you're older. I want to know now. I don't know everything, Sam. There's lots of things I'd like to know that I don't know. And that's why I want you to do your lesson for your Uncle Frank, so that when you grow up, you'll know more than me and not make mistakes and not be unhappy. Uncle Frank doesn't know everything. He knows more than I do. About everything? About almost everything. So. Will you talk to him and listen to what he says for me, will you? It's cold here. I won't stay too long. I'll just finish this. Sam, sometimes people tell you things, and they are for the best, but you don't think so at the time. When you're older, you know that they were for the best, and then it can be too late. Do you understand? Don't stay too long. All right, I'm off it. No, you're not. She's not properly off yet. I want my pencil out of my old jacket. There's a pencil on there. Let her get to sleep. Boiled again, Marmaduke. Now cruel thou art. I am cruel. Cruel am I. She'll not be cruel. Won't she? No, yeah, she'll not. Oh, well, looky there. Okay. I mean, a lass instead of a lad. Oh. Be careful, something for you, do lasses. Be careful, the dads. Do they? I was glad when they buried mine. Well, she'll not be glad when they bury me. She'll be asleep in her cot when they bury you if you don't shut up. She'll not drive me to do things. What things? She'll respect me, she will. Well, it's lucky you were disappointed, isn't it? You know you always wanted a lad. It were you, not me. It were not, as you well know. Not that of anything against lads. Except that they turn into men. They made us an offer. We made one back. Now it's up to them. Suppose they threatened to close the pit. What would happen to your mind? Probably getting coal from the other two pits and getting it cheaper. Seems to make sense, that's all. Sense? Their kind of sense. 
Suppose the other two pits supported us. Would be. I'm saying suppose they did. Whose side are you on, lad? Theirs. Hey? For the purpose of the argument. Oh, aye. Well, uh, for the purpose of the argument, if you were them, what would you do? Split the ranks. Divide and rule. What about <coughs> solidarity? Aye, solidarity. Now, Polly. You know what solidarity is, don't you, Jack? The way they all went solidly back to work and let the management chuck you on the scrap heap. I was one man. I didn't complain on that score. Aye, but if that one man had been somebody else but you, you'd not have left him standing on his own. That's how we learn. That is all or none. It'll not happen again. Could they close, Skeleton? Well, they can do what they damn well please if we let them, can't they? Leave well alone, Jack. Nay, Polly. You've been barely six months in work. Our George and Ethel have just had a bairn, and Dora's expecting another. You, George, Allen, all three of you working at Skeleton. If it closes, we're done for. Done for? That's not your sort of talk, Polly. There comes a time, Jack. George was at Cuddy up to a few weeks ago, and Alan. Why did they move him? Howard George was offered a job on face. Only keep it to yourself. Why? He's got his reason. And Alan? They moved him. Just the two of them? Nay, hey, there's been a few. Forty or more, I wouldn't wonder. All skeletons, chaps. More or less. What are you getting at? Split the ranks. Divide and rule. Oh. I'd better go and see young Sam. Been giving him some extra work and he's not been doing it. Pit for him then and serve him bloody right. The pit. It's a punishment you want for him then, is it? It's been a punishment for me. What for, I don't know, but by God, I must have put my foot wrong somewhere. And what has he done? He was born between the wrong sheets, like me. But he's lucky. He's got me to put him straight on things. He's got your blood in him too, Jack. Do you think I don't know that? Would I care if he hadn't? You don't act as if you cared. What do you want of me, Polly? A soft tongue? A pat on the head? A penny for spice for being a good lad? And then have him turn round and cheek me? Is that what you want? Happen? Happen he'll get that from you. But when the devil's in him from me, he'll get the hard word, a belt on his ass, and a kick up to bed, and he'll love thee all the more for it. He'll kick you back one day, Jack. I will. He'll be a man then, won't he? There's somewhat on your mind, isn't there? You wouldn't talk like this if there wasn't. I'm up out. Did you give him that parcel? Parcel? Toby came back to see if it had been opened. He were hoping for an address so he can help our Dora with a the divorce. There was no address. You opened it? Aye, I opened it. You shouldn't have done that, Jack. No, I should have let him have it, shouldn't I? I should have let him get all stirred up again about his dad just after he'd come to accept him gone. I shall let him read this note so we could start all over again, shouldn't I? What were in the parcel? A kid's book for the lad. Thank God. A what? Thank God, I said. Thank God he cared enough to send it. You thank God for a morsel like that? Aye, for a morsel. A morsel of repentance. Anything but nothing, Jack. I shall be grateful for that if we never hear another word and I never see him again. Oh, we'll hear from him all right. You know what it says on this? He's coming back again. That's what it says. He said he didn't want you to get him any after all. Didn't want to take him off me, you mean? He's got Harry on his mind again. He thinks you shouldn't be here. Well, I thought he'd lost that. I thought he had. It'll go from him in time. Four? Two cocks and two ends. I'll cover them up, else they'll start fighting. Don't they like each other, then? They watch each other like hawks when they're mating. Jealousy? Happen. Oh. Are you all right? No, I got cramp a bit when I bend. I'll go and lie down a bit upstairs. Where's Sam? Oh, he's cleaning his shed out. He won't come in till he's called. Oh, we'll give him half an hour then, shall we? And then I'll take him down. I'll come and sit with you for a bit. Will I? Always ask permission, don't you? Do I? Sam? Sorry. Made you jump, did I? That was your granddad. Where are they? Pigeons? I haven't got them yet. I like your drawings. I wish you'd done that long division I used to do with them. I couldn't understand it. You could have asked me. I asked you before and you told me and I still didn't understand it. Ask again. Never be frightened to ask. Ask as much as you want to. I shall never understand it no matter how much I ask. I know I shan't. Want a bet? I haven't got no to bet with. You put that in your pocket. Betting's a mugs game. What's that? It's a book. Can I look? 
<laughs> it's American, isn't it? I can find you something better to read than this. Where'd you get it? It's rubbish. My dad sent it me. Oh? My granddad opened it and hid it in here. Why would he want to do that? I saw him come in this morning. Well, maybe he was looking for you. He saw me. He said no. I don't care any road. My dad's coming back. Look. It says here. See you soon, Dad. He's coming back. Sam. You've, uh, <clears throat> you, you found it then? I'm a fool. Hey, you hold your horses. You wait till my dad comes back. Who told him that? It was written in the book. Shouldn't have hidden it from him, Dad. There was a letter in it from that, that Harry to say they were coming back. That's what I hid it for. I never thought to look inside the bloody book. You know why I did it? Yeah. There'll be no hold in him now. He thinks there's somebody coming that'll put everything back where it was. Everything straight again. Nothing wrong that'll not be put right again. And that's not how it'll be. Aye. You know it, and I know it, and he doesn't. What was it you told me once that somebody said to you about man making God in his own image? He'd only got the half of it, I reckon. If he'd said in the image of his father, he'd have been right on the nail. Did I ever look like God to thee? Sam, have you seen the pigeons? I left them in schoolery. Yeah. Does they want them or not? I'll have them. I'll look after them till we go home. What do you mean? Home? Where we come from in the beginning. <laughs>